Another common input is a microphone input for audio. It's what I'm using right here. I have a studio microphone plugged into a mixer that's connected to my computer via USB. Or you could get a microphone like this blue microphone that plugs directly into your computer via USB. Allows you to take that digital signal and plug right in. Here's an analog microphone that plugs into one of the ports that may be on your system on a microphone connector or on a, a sound card you might have inside of your computer. So it may be an analog connection. It may be a digital connection. But that allows you to take the information that you've been speaking and that you've been hearing, and you may be in an environment where you're recording a conference, and store that information on your computer or onto that mobile device. A really nice input. Another really nice input type for musicians is MIDI, Musical Instrument Digital Interface. MIDI, has, the standard for MIDI has been around a long time. And it uses these, generally you'll see these really big DIN ports. You're used to the mini DIN for our keyboards. These are the reason they were called mini DIN is there were these larger DIN connections. These days you'll see a lot more conversions between that traditional DIN type connectivity on the back of what this device and on this individual device. There's actually USB. So you don't need those big DIN connections on your computer anymore. You need some type of interface where you can plug those in, and then it ultimately connects to your computer via a USB connection. If you're somebody who has keyboards, you're performing with other types of musical instruments, and you'd like to interface those into your computer, MIDI is absolutely the way to go. We're increasingly seeing a new type of input device called a biometric input device. I have one of these on my laptop. Here's my computer. And I have a fingerprint reader right on my computer. And anytime I'd like, I can simply slide my finger across that. It will lock my computer. It will unlock my computer. I can log in without a, a username and password. I simply swipe my fingerprint, and it recognizes my fingerprint. It knows that it's me, and it then logs into my computer. I don't have to type anything on the keyboard to have that happen. There's many, many different types of biometric type readers. There's fingerprint readers. There are the optical eyeball readers that you always see in the movies. Those are pretty fancy. You have other types that will read the format of a, of a palm. You simply put your palm down, and it knows the different types. Sometimes it's used in combination with other things. You not only need to put your fingerprint down, but you also need to type in a code so that it's not only something you have, it's something you know. That's very common to see in very, very secure environments. One of the more interesting emerging input device types is touch screens, where we can actually touch the computer itself and manipulate what we're seeing on the screen. We've seen this on our phones for quite some time. We're seeing larger devices come out now that allow us to manipulate, to type, to change, to paint, to write, and do a lot of things on these touch screens. We're seeing more and more of these come around. So as these start rolling out in enterprise environments, we're certainly going to expect that we'll see more input being used with our fingertips rather than some of these other input types that we've already talked about. Almost every enterprise uses KVMs. And then even in people's homes, we have some cases where we're using KVMs. KVM stands for Keyboard Video Mouse. And what this allows you to do is have a single keyboard and a single mouse and a single video display, and yet be able to control and see what's happening on multiple computers. You can imagine in data centers, you may have hundreds and hundreds of servers set up in the rack. None of those servers have monitors on them. None of them have keyboards. None of them have mice. And why should they? We would not never be able to manage all these devices by going to every single device sitting in a rack, very uncomfortable. Instead, you usually have one machine right at the head of all of those. And it's able to connect to those through long cables or network connections. And you're plugging in a simple video keyboard and mouse into one console connection and connecting to those external computers through other ports. And I usually have a button or a piece of software that allows me to switch between every single one of those systems. So if you have multiple computers in your environment, and you're dealing with different keyboards, and you're dealing with different mice, and you're trying to bang around and try to find different things on your desk, maybe it'd be much easier to put a KVM in place. And then all you'd have to do is simply sit one place, have one keyboard, one mouse, and one, one video display, and you'd be able to do everything from one place. Let's review what we've learned about input devices. Our first question is, what is the most common interfaces used for audio input? And we've seen some of them earlier on the microphones we were looking at. There is a USB is one of the most common. We also still see analog jacks that we can plug right in for our audio into a microphone port or into a sound card on our computer. Our second question, what interface standard would be used to connect a piano keyboard to a computer? 
Well, that's a musical instrument, so it just makes sense that we would use Musical Instrument Digital Interface, or MIDI. And the last question, what type of biometric device is often found on keyboards? And this is talking about the keyboards we would use on our computer, not a musical keyboard. So a biometric device is very similar to the one I have on my laptop keyboard, which is a fingerprint reader. That covers what we needed to know for our CompTIA A plus 22701 section 1.8. We've gone through all of these different input types. At this point, we should be able to use our mouse and our keyboard, our multimedia devices, our barcode readers, and much more. If you'd like to watch any of our other free a videos, you'd like to join our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, or much more, you can visit our website at freeaplus.com. <laughs>